This is a poda a bull antenna that's made by one of my friends in the East Side Amateur Radio Society, something like that. They built this real antenna. Now you can see the poda, it's real poda a bull antenna portable, potable, kind of the same thing. He uses these S-beaners on top, which I love these things. It's the same S-beaners that come with the uh, pack antenna. And you roll it out, there's about 65 foot of wire. This is this ultra flexible wire. I forget the name of this wire. It's the same stuff that ham radio dude Sean used on his NFED half wave kit that we built on a live stream a while back. I was talking to him yesterday about rolling this out because I wanted to take it out and do it on a, on a POTA activation today. We're gonna see what 10 meters is doing today. 10 meters has been hot for the last couple of months. He said that what you do is you roll this thing all the way out and it's resonant on the bottom of 10 meters. And then you crank it in about three times and you can get it up to like, I think he said 15 and 20 meters. And then you crank it in 12 times, 12 times from the very end, and it's resonant on 40. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense to me because if it's longer, it should be resonant on 40, not on 10. But he, he made a good point and, uh, and, and we're gonna see if this holds true. So you know how on a lot of infed half waves, you have a nine to one at the end, or a 49 to one at the end rather. You cut it 66, 65, 64 feet, depending on which one it is, depending on what the transformer is. And it looks really good, like a 1.1 or 1.2 to one on 40, on 20 and on 15 and on 10, it's usually a little high, 1.7, 1.8, maybe even like 2.1 to one, something like that. Well, that's why. That's why, because most of your infed half waves are a little bit high on 10 when they're resonant on the other bands. So the fact that this one's adjustable means you can get it resonant anywhere you want to. So we're gonna set this up today and look and see what it's doing. So that's about, that's all the way out. Can't pull it out anymore. Don't want to force it, of course. I've set up an in-fed half wave 40 meter at this location at Galveston Island State Park many times in the past. Pack antenna, the spark plug gear antenna, uh, the car antenna, I think, several of the other ones. The, my most recent one was the, um, the LEFS from Chameleon antenna. So this is about the spot that it rolls out to. So this, this, is, this is correct. This is a, maybe a little bit longer, but I think they made it a little bit longer on purpose because of the 10 meter portion we were just talking about. So now I'm going to set this down right here. That's on the back of the truck on a spider beams mast at my, in my trunk hitch. The reason I say spider beams mast and I'm telling you all these brand names is because sure enough, someone will ask in the comments, what mast was that you used? Or what trunk mount was that you used? Or what, uh, what hitch mount was that you used? Someone will ask that if I don't say it. So there you go. All right, so let's, uh, let's put an analyzer on this thing. When you can, you can lock this down in place so it'll keep the antenna from rolling once you get it out to the length that you want. And um, also when it's uh, compacted all the way. It does have a little line in here where you can, if you get a, like a bird's nest or something, I guess you can open that up. But it comes with this hanger, so you don't have to worry about a hanger for it. Should make it fairly easy to put into the ground here. Oh, you know what? I always forget, I, I just forgot about. You can also hang it on that Potaflex cable. So that stuff's really good for doing that. But first, before I do that, I wanna put it on the analyzer. As I've said in several videos in the past where I use this Potaflex coax, it's great because this base right here is heavy enough to make it an anchor point. So I've connected the antenna, and this antenna has an SO239 on it, not a BNC. So it makes it a little bit easier for this type of coax. I've connected the antenna to it and run the coax over there to the table, and we're gonna put it on the analyzer right now. So I take this opportunity to say that this video is sponsored by Mezzi and Palomi coax. The Potaflex coax we're using today is the 50 foot run of the yellow slash orange color. You can always save a 10% discount at the link in the description below with the coupon code of HR2Cables off of all Mezzi and Plomy coax products, accessories, connectors, everything. Save a 10% HR2Cables, check the link in the description below and be sure to thank them for sponsoring this video. All right, after setting it up, it was very almost flat. It's like a 1.1 or 1.2 to one at 28.050 according to the Rig Expert Pro meter that I'm using here. All the way out, it was great at the bottom of 10 meters for uh, CW, FT8, whatever, whatever you're gonna use at the bottom of that band. I checked the other bands and it was ranging anywhere from like 1.4 to 1, 1.4 to two on 15, 20, and 40 meters. So I reeled it in three times and checked it and it was lower on uh, 40, 15, and 20 meters, a little bit higher on 10. Still not, still not below 1.5 though. 
but 17 meters came into the mix. When you do the multi-read from the, uh, the Rig Expert Pro, it'll scan the antenna and tell you all the bands that it's, re that it's semi sort of resonant on, basically before, below like two to one, I think it does, or maybe 2.5 to one. And it'll tell you, say, yeah, this is only a one out of five star rating, but still. So 17 meters came into the mix and it was like 1.8 to one at 17 meters. And I'm like, that's not terrible. So I cranked it in all the way to 12 and it looked great at the sideband portion of 40 and 20 and 15, a little bit high on 10 as we expected it to be. That's no problem. So I reeled it back out to about five. So right now it's sitting at five turns from the very end. So if you set it up, pull it all the way out, crank it in five times, that's where we're at right now. It is on the 10 meter portion of the band, on the technician portion of the 10 meter band, 28.3 to 28.5. It is sitting about 1.2 to one uh, through that 200 megahertz or 200 kilohertz of bandwidth there from 28.3 to 28.5. So that's where we're going. 10 meters is hot today, has been for a long time. We're gonna do some POTA on 10 meters. I might even let Frank uh, get on my radio. What do you guys think? You think that's a good idea? So we're gonna operate some 10, 10 meters has been on fire. Frank just made 51 contacts, so I'm taking over the frequency now. Germany, Chile, uh, Mexico, Canada. Yeah. CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the air from Galveston Island State Park, Kilo 3013, calling CQ Poda and listening. Kilo Charlie 1, Tango, Lima, Yankee. Kilo Charlie 1, Tango, Lima, Yankee, about a 5x2. Very good. First name is Ralph. And is gotcha, Ralph. Uh, name here is Jason. And uh, thanks for the contact today. We're doing some parks on the air in 10 meters. Excellent, Jason. Can I have your call sign, please? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Got it, Jason. You guys have fun. 73, thanks for being out there. Whiskey 1, Lima, India, Mike. Whiskey One Lima India Mike five seven. Okay, I got you five and seven in Maine. Uh, thanks for picking me up and yeah, I like your videos there. Go ahead. Hey Roger, Roger. Thanks for watching the videos and uh, appreciate you being out there on ten meters today. The November six station. November six Lima Charlie Tango. November six Lima Charlie Tango five nine. Yeah five nine San Diego California very good solid signal. Roger, Roger, Carlos. Thank you for California. Good to, good to work on 10 meters. Victor Alpha 3, Lima Radio. Victor Alpha 3, Lima Radio. Great signal. 10 over 5.9 into Kilo 3013. Uh, thank you, Jason. You are also uh, your 5.9 plus here, uh, Southern Ontario, about uh, 50 miles southwest of Toronto. Roger, Roger. Copy Southern Ontario. Thanks for being out there on 10 meters today. Good luck. Victor Echo 3, Bravo Zulu. Victor Echo 3, Bravo Zulu, 5-9. Roger, Roger, Jason, you're 5-9 into Ontario. Copy 5-9 in Ontario. Good pipeline to Canada today. Appreciate you guys being out there on 10 meters, 73. 7-3, good luck. Uh, QRZ. November 5, Lima, Oscar Tango, Portable. November 5, Lima, Oscar Tango, Portable, 5-5. QSL, you're five seven here. Uh, we're just to the south of you, about five miles. <laughs> okay, good deal. Uh, you came up to five seven that self, uh, that time yourself. So good to get, get you in the logbook, man. Seventy three. All right, appreciate it. Have a good time there. Seventy three. Yes, this is Kilo Six Yankee oh, Yankee Lima again. Kilo Six Yankee Yankee Lima. I'm at K dash one one eight. Hey, Kim, good to hear from you. Yeah, you got a good signal. You're a good 5-7 into Kilo 3013. You just had a bunch of other stations coming in there with you. So Kilo 6, Yankee, Yankee Lima, I copy your park is 1186, 5-7 into Kilo 3013, QSL. QSL, thank you so much. You're about a 3-3, 3-3 here in my park overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for being there. Roger, roger, Kim. Good to work again. Uh, good luck in the activation today, 73. QRZ. Yankee Victor 1, Sierra Whiskey. Yankee Victor 1, Sierra Whiskey. Thank you for the DX. 5-9 into Kilo 3013. Roger, roger, Jason. 10 for 5 you are picking up yours in Venezuela. Uh, 10 for Park. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Buenos dias. Uh, feliz, uh, um, what is it? <laughs> I forget that. Uh, Compleños and whatnot. So uh, thanks for the uh, DX today, buddy. Uh, thanks for being out there. QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel, Whiskey Bravo. Kilo, India 6, November, November. 
Kilo India 6, November, November, great signal, 5-9, Kilo 3013. Thank you for Kilo 3103, I believe it was. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo from KI6NN. You have a pretty good signal in the Southern California. You're about 5 and 7, about 5 miles south of Disneyland, QSL. Hey, QSL, copy 5-7, five, 5 miles south of Disneyland. Good to work you on 10 meters, man. Thanks for being out there. Cheers, have a good one out there, 73. Whiskey Kilo Italy. Okay, Charlie Echo 2, Whiskey Kilo Italy, uh, 3333 into Galveston Island State Park, QSL. Roger, Roger, thank you for the DX today, 73. That was, I got 40 and uh, in a pretty short period of time. Frank was here longer than I did and got, what, 50? 51. 51. And on this antenna, now, this is 10 meters, and it's easier to work DX on 10 meters if the band is up. And it's very easy to work Canada from this park. I've done it many times on many antennas. But I got Venezuela and Chile, and I, I swear I heard a Papa Papa 5 station or something like that, but he never did come back to me. I got Papa Papa. You did? Papa Papa, yes. Okay, okay. And um, what? Uh, you got Scotland, a Mike Mike. <laughs> nice. And Alaska. You got Alaska. Yeah. Okay, okay. So there you go. So 10 meters from the park on this little potable antenna. Check the link in the description below. I want, I do want to say I purchased this antenna from these guys because I like to support their ham radio club. And I'm glad I did. I would buy it again. It's going to be a nice addition to the kit because it's you can roll it up and tune it. And I can tune out if I want to do some 12 and 17 meters, something that's not resonant on a regular 40 meter infant half wave. I could do that with this antenna. We just have to put it on the meter and kind of wind it until we get there. So 73, y'all. Thanks for uh, being out there today. 73, take radio! <laughs>